key message we always give to people is the lifetime learning um, because you will need to you will need to accept the fact that the skills need to be upgraded uh, very soon or very, much quicker than today. Uh, what we call soft skills at the moment uh, could become a core skills. So um, let's say critical thinking, communication, uh, complex problem solving skills, uh, because machines are really good at solving complicated issues. So the issues that needs more brain powers that uh, needs more hours, you know, machines can learn 24 seven. However, they're not very good at solving complex issues, which requires uh, 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 creativity and imaginations. So those skills that we call it soft skills now, very soon it will become a core skills. So let's talk about more about skills uh, rather than jobs when we talk about the future. Mm. We came up with what we call the future ready attributes. And they're essentially what uh, you do was just talking about. There's, there's communication, there's collaboration, there's um, problem solving, personal learning and global perspectives are the, the five areas that we sort of identify. The ways of working, I think, have, have really shifted to thinking a lot more about the future and, and preparation. So this notion of, of being uh, prepared to adapt and mitigate against uh, any future impacts is, is certainly a lot more on the radar than it was before. In terms of the skill shift, certainly um, mindset and social and emotional skills, emotional intelligence has risen starkly to the top as being critical both for the teachers and the young people that they serve. Um, that ability to self-regulate, self-manage, um, to be able to make decisions, maintain perspective, hold a positive, optimistic growth mindset or a beginner's mindset has been really important in dealing with ambiguity, complexity and change that have been pushed upon people. What I've been seeing is a lot more roles becoming specialised and deeper vertically in order to better support customers. Um, and that's just because the breadth of technology is just growing and growing so, so rapidly. It's harder than ever for people to be across the breadth of all the different services and technologies. So areas like machine learning, IoT, um, and along the same lines, specializations within verticals and industries uh, is becoming more common as well. So, you know, some industries have particular nuances around your know, finance or mining. So we've been seeing a lot of those specialization type of roles happening. We have a fairly, a fairly full on uh, interview process at AWS. Um, and for us, it's about focusing on hiring people that can demonstrate our 14 leadership principles. So um, for anyone that hasn't seen those leadership principles, they're, they're pretty cool, you can uh, Google them. Um, but things like, you know, customer obsession, ownership, deliver results. Um, so, you know, really focusing on those types of values-based hiring, um, which can really lead to more diversity in teams as well when you hire that way.